I want to do a very quick video on probably the most useful tip I ever received for working on the command line, or at least one of the most useful. And that was how to do reverse searching. Now I don't know if this is common or not, but I was introduced to this by a systems administrator around about five or six years ago, and I think it must have saved me countless hours of time over the years. And this allows you to go back in time and search for particular commands, and we're going to do a quick demonstration in this video. And as always, before we get started, if you want to support the channel, you can check out our coffee page below the video. And we have now activated channel memberships for anyone who wishes to support the channel. There should be a join button just underneath the video. Now this is kind of buried in the bash documentation, but this reverse searching will actually work across different terminals. For example, it works on PowerShell, so that's on Windows, but it will also work for bash and Z shell and probably lots of other shells as well. So there's a bunch of commands for manipulating history here and you can look at this one here, it's called reverse search history which you can access with Control R or Command R on a Mac. That'll allow you to go back in time and there's also an equivalent for forward search history as well. Now where might this be useful? We're going to demonstrate that on the command line so I have this opened here and I want to paste a command onto this terminal here. Now this is a docker run command that I used in a previous video on the MCP protocol. And this was to start a Postgres database and you can see we're exposing some port mappings and so on. The content of this command doesn't matter but imagine you had to type that out every time you wanted to run the command. And this is common as well even for very common commands like git push origin master or something like that. That does take a little bit of time to type that out and we're going to show a way that you can do that very quickly using reverse searching. So let's say you wanted to search for that docker command. If you press command and R here, you can see the reverse search prompt has appeared. And if we start typing into that, it will search through your command history based on what you're typing in. So if I type in doc, we get the docker commands here. For example, this one was to spin up a Redis container. If that's not the one you're after, you can press command R again, and you can keep cycling through these commands until you get to the one you want. And here's the one I want here when you've got it you can then execute that command. So rather than having to remember these complex commands, you can simply press Command and R. And here's another common one. If you want to push to your remote repository, you can just type in master here or main if you're using that name. And you can see how quick that was to bring that onto the terminal. So from nothing here, we can just type Control R and type master. And here we are. Now I think this takes a little bit of time to get used to, but not much at all. You can start using this immediately to look at your search history in the terminal and get back commands that you commonly run. Very useful for when you've forgotten the exact command that you want to execute, but you know it's somewhere in the history. Now speaking of history, there is a history command on the Linux terminals. So if we type that in, you can get the entire history of commands on this particular terminal. So one other way to do this would be, for example, if we wanted to search for that Redis container, so here we have the docker run command to start a Redis container. Now we could use the history approach here. So what we can do is type the history command and pipe the results to the grep command. So if we wanted to search for Redis, we could execute this command and we get all of the commands in our history that had Redis in the text. But that's a little bit less convenient than just searching for a command you know you executed in the past and then cycling through the options until you find that command. There are different approaches here. It depends on how far back in time the command was, for example. But I find it easier to just press Command R and then we can search for Redis here and cycle through until we get the right command, especially if we know that that command is somewhere fairly recent in the terminal history. And of course, another way to do this would be to type the up key on the keyboard to cycle one by one through the command history. But that's not ideal if your command isn't in the very recent terminal history. So I think the reverse search option, honestly, it saved me so much time over the last five years. I can cycle through all of the Docker commands that I've run in the recent past here. And if you want to go in the other direction, instead of Command R, you can type Command S and you're going to go back in the other direction. One last example of where this is useful. Let's say you're working and you have a branch called My Branch, but you might not necessarily always remember the name of that branch, but you are going to be pushing to it quite often. So I don't know if you've done this before, but you type git push origin and then you forget the name of the branch that you're actually on. So then you have to cancel that command, you type the git branch command, you get the name of the branch and then you can finally push that to the origin. So that process, in my experience, takes up more seconds than I would like as a developer. So what you could do instead with reverse search is just type git push and then cycle through until you find the right, uh, the right branch, sorry. And chances are that's going to be very recent in your command history because it's going to be the branch you're actually working on. And as a side note to this, you might be interested in installing the Z shell aliases that come with the git plugin. So if we go down here to these plugins for Z shell, let's just search for git here. 
And here it is here, we have the git plugin that provides many aliases and useful functions. And we can have a look at some of these aliases as well. Again, this is another way to save time when you're working on the terminal. So one of my favorite commands with this alias is ggp. So let me cycle through these. It's a very simple alias here. It just uses the git push origin command and then it gets the current branch. So instead of having to remember the current branch and then push that to the origin, you can simply type ggp and that's gonna work automatically. So if you have Z shell, you can install this plugin here and that is super helpful as well. It's also saved me a lot of time. If you're interested in a video on any of these, let me know in the comments. One final tool I want to look at is this one here. It's called hstring and this is a bash and Z shell shell history suggestion box. And with this, you can easily view, navigate, search and manage your command history. So let's go down here and we can see how this works. So you can see here when you type some text into the prompt, what you get below is some options and then you can go down and select one of those options. So this is another useful package that you can install. And instead of cycling through things one at a time, you get the search results all appearing below and then you can navigate through them and select the one that you actually want. So this combines the best parts of the history command and also the reverse search option. And it's another cool utility that you can use to improve your productivity and make working with the terminal nicer. So that's gonna be all for this video. It's a shorter one, but I think this is a really useful tip that can help any developer who's working often on the command line. And ultimately, this is so simple to just get started with immediately. You just need to know how to get to the reverse search prompt, and you can do that very easily by typing command R. So if you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you want to support the channel, check out our coffee page. And of course, feel free to suggest any similar topics that you'd like to see in the comments. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.